Hi, my name is Heather Pringle, and I'm a contributing correspondent for Science Magazine. I'm based in Victoria, Canada. I've been working on a series of articles with my colleague Andrew Lawler, who is also a contributing correspondent at Science Magazine, on the isolated people of the Amazon region in South America. I got interested in this subject about a year ago when a group of isolated people known as the Shinani made contact with uh, Brazilian officials in a small town uh, called Simpatia in, um, in Brazil. The contact didn't go very smoothly because the Shinani people um, almost immediately contracted um, an upper respiratory infection. Um, isolated people have little or no immunity to the pathogens uh, of, the, of the old world. Early this year, um, Andrew Lawler and I uh, were fortunate enough to receive uh, support uh, from the Pulitzer uh, Center on Crisis Reporting to travel to South America in order to report on this uh, situation. My colleague Andrew Lawler went to Peru and traveled by riverboat on a tributary of the Amazon to talk to people along the river about isolated people and what was going on there. I flew to Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. The goal of my research there was really to try to find out what the Brazilian government had planned um, in order to make contact with isolated people. Could it occur safely? So um, I, I talked to all these individuals about that. Um, and it, it seemed to me to be a very important question because we have now had something like 500 years of contact between the people of the old world and the people of the new world. And in large part, it's been a catastrophic history uh, where uh, the mortality rates um, among indigenous people have been shockingly high, uh, largely due to uh, the transmission of disease from uh, Europeans to indigenous people. I do hope that you enjoy the articles and the multimedia features that we have placed online. Thank you.